Hi there, welcome to the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us today. We're gonna to be talking about the Khaki Campbell Duck breed and everything you need to know and if this breed is the right breed for your flock. Before we get into that, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also be sure to subscribe to our website, thehappychickencoop.com. If you subscribe using the link in the description, you'll receive a free ebook on the 10 best egg laying chicken breeds. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. So the Khaki Campbell Duck is one of the most most popular domesticated breeds kept in the United States. This attractive breed was created by crossing runner, fawn, and rowan ducks. Some historical accounts also indicate they crossed khaki Campbell ducks with wild mallard ducks, but others do not. They are a superb multi-purpose duck breed for both large and backyard homesteads. Khaki Campbell ducks are not only excellent egg layers, but sitters as well. The reason they're referred to as a multi-purpose type of duck is because you can successfully raise them for both eggs as well as delicious meat. Now let's talk about the history of the Khaki Campbell duck. They started the Khaki Campbell breed in Gloucestershire, England during the latter part of the 1800s. Adele Campbell wanted to create a duck breed that would keep her family constantly supplied with roasted duck. Initially, Adele Campbell crossed her white Indian runner and fawn ducks due to their heavy egg laying abilities. Next, Campbell bred the offspring of the first crossing with the Rowan duck. The second breed created ducklings with a larger body that more resembled that of a traditional meat duck. This new duck breed was first introduced to the public at large in 1898 as the Campbell breed. During this era, buff colored feathers were a fad so Adele bred her original ducks with penciled runner ducks to create more fashionable plumage. The color created did not exactly resemble a buff and caused Campbell to be reminded of the shades of the British Army uniform. She named this new variation the duck breed she created, the Khaki Campbell. It was not until 1941 that the Khaki Campbell duck breed first appeared in the U.S. The American Poultry Association ultimately recognized the species then. The population of the Khaki Campbell breed initially remained stagnant or decreased in America, but during the 1970s, the breed made a resurgence when the back to the land movement was embraced by tens of thousands of Americans. After the Vietnam War, when a wave of Asian immigrants came to the U.S., they brought their love of duck eggs along with them. Another surge in the importance of the Khaki Campbell duck occurred due to the breed's robust egg production reputation. Now let's get into the physical characteristics of this breed. The Khaki Campbell duck somewhat resembles their mallard ancestors. Their bodies are lightly covered in khaki plumage, but their dark brown heads with a sometimes olive green cast quickly differentiate them from the wild breed. The Khaki Campbell duck also do not boast a white ring around the neck like mallards do. They come in four shades, khaki, dark, white, and pied. The American Poultry Association recognizes only the khaki shade of ducks. Members of this breed are lightweight to medium weight ducks, and they weigh between four to about five pounds once mature. Drakes have a green bill, and their legs and feet are usually a shade of dark orange. The lower back upper neck, head, and tail culverts are a brown to bronze shade. The rest of the male khaki Campbell's plumage is a mild khaki in hue. Female khaki Campbell's have a head in a lighter shade of brown, typically a more golden yellow shaded bill, and more uniformly brown feathers in the shade. Whether male or female, ducklings are dark brown to black with a small amount of white plumage in the breast area. This breed is very environmentally hardy. Khaki Campbell ducks have been known to thrive in cold climates where the temperature dips below zero for even weeks at a time. They also live comfortably in humid and arid climates where the heat can hit upwards of 100 degrees during the summer. Like nearly all domestic duck varieties, khaki camel ducks do not fly. Occasionally, a duck may be able to flap their wings enough to get a few inches off the ground and propel themselves forward maybe a foot, but that is about the extent of their flying capabilities. Now let's talk about the Khaki Campbell duck egg laying facts. Number one, duck hens of this breed commonly lay between 170 to 230 eggs annually. The hens typically lay even more eggs during their first two years of life. Number two, Khaki Campbell hens start laying when they're only five to seven months old on average. Number three, duck hens of this breed commonly lay eggs without a decline in quantity for about five years. Number four, the creamy white eggs laid by Khaki Campbell hens are graded extra large and weigh approximately two and a half to two and three quarters 
ounces. Some hens lay eggs with a slight green tint. Number five, the average lifespan of a khaki Campbell is about eight to 10 years. Although egg laying will slow down as hens get older, it rarely ever stops entirely. And there does not seem to be a decrease in quality of the eggs. Now let's talk about the khaki Campbell duck personality traits. Ducks of this breed are not usually social or easily as trusting as their counterparts like the Peckin duck breed. Although slow to warm up to a new environment, human keepers, Khaki Campbell ducks quickly meld into an existing flock well and ultimately come to trust the folks who feed and care for them. Khaki Campbell ducks are also relatively quiet. They're not prone to making excitable noises throughout the day when either free ranging or caged. They are an excellent free range duck breed, possibly thanks to their independent personality traits. When raised alongside chickens or guinea hens from a young age or when sharing a space in a brooder, they tend to imprint on their mates and remain somewhat inseparable from them for life. Mothering does not necessarily come easy to khaki Campbell hens. It often seems from my personal experience that a hen of this duck breed will lay and sit on the eggs for a good amount of time but once the ducklings are born, then they completely stop and go back to their normal routine. Now let's talk about dietary needs. The Khaki Campbell duck does not require any specialized type of diet. They can be fed non-medicated chick starter feed as ducklings and either waterfowl, game bird, or chicken feed once they are three months old. Scratch style feed is not usually recommended for ducks due to a potential choking hazard, but crumble and pellet feed varieties of chicken feed are commonly fed to domesticated duck breeds. If kept in a duck house or coop and run environment, the khaki Campbell duck, as well as any other duck, chicken or guinea breed, they will need to be fed grit to help them safely and adequately digest their food. Because they're such avid free rangers, khaki Campbell ducks will help rid any backyard or property of slugs and other pesky insects that will cause itching and stinging of your family or eat your garden crops. Slugs are a favorite treat of khaki Campbell ducks. They will root around the soil for an hour if they believe a slug might be hiding out just out of their reach. Now let's talk about the khaki Campbell duck housing. A sturdy and predator-proof duck house or duck coop that includes a clean and dry bedding along with proper ventilation will keep members of this breed a healthy, happy, and producing food for your breakfast plate. A water source of some type, whether it's a baby pool, natural pond, or some kind of small garden pond will need to be included inside the duck house or run or in the daily free ranging environment. A waterer that is filled and cleaned regularly also needs to be provided to the flock at all times and kept from freezing during the winter months. One waterer for every four ducks is a good ratio. Ducks drink far more water than chickens and guineas and should not ever be left without clean drinking water for any longer than a maximum of eight hours. Now we're gonna talk about ducklings. Like all other duck breeds, never expose a khaki Campbell to swimming water until at least three weeks old to two months old. Ducklings this young do not have the natural body oils to dry quickly and protect them from getting chills. Because khaki Campbell hens have lackluster mothering instincts and can sometimes go broody with their eggs, incubating any eggs you want to hatch will likely be necessary. It takes approximately 28 days for a khaki Campbell duck egg to hatch naturally in an incubator. Khaki Campbell ducks are an attractive docile duck breed that can be kept equally well in a duck house or run or free range environment. Keeping ducks of this breed entirely in a pen will not make them as happy as being able to roam for a few hours every day to satisfy their desire to hunt bugs. Both drakes and hens tend to have good manners with other traditional barnyard critters and creepers of any age. Although they are in an independent breed, they can become skittish if chased by children, leading to being shy or suspicious of their adult caregivers. Well, is the khaki Campbell duck the right breed for your flock? Let us know in the comments your experience or if you're interested in getting one, we'll be sure to answer any questions you may have. Well, that's gonna do it for us here at the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. If you find this content interesting, if you've learned something new, make sure you've subscribed to the channel and like this video. With that, I hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.